It's Wild Wednesday Mystery Baseball Packs. So here we are again, another Wednesday, and I got one here, right here, and it looks like a thick pack. I bought two packs. This one is from Brooke in California, all in at $32.57 for two packs. He's saying he's guaranteeing something for pre-86. There's going to be seven packs, so these are, I think, are going to be real packs, not just cards. A uh, chance at a Gem Mint Rookie Hall of Famer, a chance for an autograph card, a chance for a rare insert sharpen card, over 100 cards that's saying no late 70s novelty packs, all unsearched, no bait and switches, and tons of fun. So you know what? We're going to take this to the test. We're going to see if he's holding true to his word. We're going to open this baby up. We're going to have some fun. No matter what, it's going to be a ton of fun. I don't care if it's good or bad or indifferent. I'm going to open it up. Let's see what we get. And like I said, this is a thick pack here. So I'm going to make me careful. So open this puppy up. You got the white bubble pack from... So let's see here. Do I need a card? Let's see here. Let's, let me feel around here. Uh, I don't know. Um, well, let's pull it out. Let's see, boom, there's number one. Pack one. Flip it upside down. Boom. And we're going to get packs. This is going to be a pack search. So very nice. Something different. I always want to do something different. So you don't want to see the same thing all the time. So something new hope it wasn't worth $1.99 that was like a 1991 leaf set so let's see here there we go there we go right there 1991 leaf starts us off we also got a 93 leaf and 1990 don ross this isn't looking good so far <laughs> then i made a ton of those same 91 score but hey tim Raines, you can see it right there tim Raines on the top and we got a 92 score and 88 <laughs> oh boy 88 so they're saying there should be one more pack that's pre-86 it better be because we got a bunch of nothing so far so let's see what it is boom 81 Dunross. hmm don't know what to think of that 81 Dunross had the gum if you recall they got sued by tops, they couldn't put gum in it afterwards. They uh, had to put puzzle cards afterwards. So, unfortunately, that top one is going to be bad. Um, you can feel the gum on top. So, that's going to be unfortunate. We'll save that for last. We got three Dunross, two Leafs, and two Score. So, let's open Score. So, so far, this first pack is not like uh, making me happy by any means. <laughs> let's start on 91 Score. So, that's too bad. Oh, let's open it up. See if we get anything good. And here we go. There's Tim Raines on the top. We saw it. So at least a decent player there at the top. Tim Raines. Up next is Tony Phillips of the Tigers. Terry Mulholland of the Phillies. Scott Fletcher of the White Sox. Got his autograph. Uh, Bobby Thigbang, 1990 Highlights. Save records. Look at the back there, number 418. So there's the back. Oh, got a rifleman, Ken Canamini of oh, the Astros. Another highlight of Bo Jackson, four straight homers. Oh, very nice. And another rifleman of Bo Jackson. So a double Bo Jackson back to back. Can never go wrong with a Bo. I always love Bo Jackson. Up next, Dwight Evans of the Red Sox and Terry Pelton of the Cardinals. And Mike Lavari of the Pirates, Paul O'Neill of the Reds, and those sport flexi items, Lenny Harris of the Dodgers, Dave Schmidt of the Expos, Jeff Reardon of the Red Sox, and Larry Sheets of the Tigers. So nothing too exciting in that back. That is for sure. Score was never higher end one. They always went for cheap, 69 cents. That's probably about the value I'll get for that. Look for the note, Joe DiMaggio card. So let's see. If we get that, we'll make our day, but I doubt it. So, all right, flip it upside down. Boom, start off with a Scott Fletcher <laughs> of the White Sox. Again, repeats here, different years. Mike Henneman of the Tigers. Very nice. I liked Mike Henneman. Bill Thomas of the Cardinals. Teddy 
Hagira of the Brewers. Frank Castillo of the Cubs. Very nice. Bernie Williams, rookie prospect. That's a decent card right there. Of the Yankees. Uh, Brett Barberi of the Expos. Doug Henry of the Brewers. Juan Quinoa Quen or Quendo. I am probably killing that name to death. As you know, I killed names. I'm famous for that. Of the Cardinals. Scott Lewis of the Twins. Stan Belinda of the Pirates. Brian Holman of the Mariners. Cal Daniels of the Dodgers. Mike Brodicker of the Royals. Hubie Brooks of the Mets. Ken Hill of the Cardinals. Well, that is not a good start. <laughs> oh, boy. We are not starting out good here at all. So let's go to the Leaf. Let's start with 93. A lot of junk, junk wax packs here. Oh, so far, I'm not loving it. Pack one's not. Oh. Oh, look at Claw. We got Gloss Loss. Oh, no. That is a brick. Yep, that's a brick. Oh, no. Alex Cole of the Rockies. Here it comes. Listen to that Gloss Loss. Ugh. And we got Kevin Reamer of the Brewers. And we got John Crook of the Phillies. And we got David Hulse of the Leaf or of the Rangers. Leaf of the Leaf. <laughs> Man, I'm getting over this gloss loss here. <laughs> Scott Fletcher's of the Red Sox. And man. Oh, <laughs> rip. Eric Harris of the Dodgers, and these are sticky. Oh, and gloss loss there, and that is Roberto Alomar of the Blue Jays. Man, and you gotta have gloss loss in that one. Jeez. Oh man. Oh, I can't even pull these apart. Oh, oh, I can't. Even, oh, come on. Look at this. I'm struggling. Oh, no. it's like breaking a bone, man. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, there it goes. Gloss loss. Major gloss loss. And Brett Barber. Oh, that's so bad. Other oh, Marlins. Uh, Eric Davis of the Dodgers. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Man, good thing there's no insert in this one. Lonnie Smith of the Pirates, because I'd be sad if there was an insert and I had a gloss loss on it. Greg Angie of the Royals. Uh, Doug Barber of the Astros. And a little more gloss loss there, because you can never get enough gloss loss. Ugh. Uh, Dress this the strange of the Marlins. And last card. Shane Mack of the Twins. Wow, not only was that gloss loss, but there was no one major there, and there's some bent cards there. All right, 91 Leaf. Look for Leaf Rookie Golds, so collect all 24. Okay, Ooh, we'll try. And there is a puzzle, the Leaf Puzzle. Oh, I think this is my first time opening Leaf. I couldn't afford Leaf back then. Yep. I'm dropping them as usual. So there's our gold card. Looks like Gary Scott of the Cubs, third base, right there. There it is. Very nice. And there we go. Gene Larkin of the Twins. Joe or Orsuka of the Oreos. Danny Turtable of the Royals. Eric Hansen of the Mariners. Kurt McCaskill of the Angels. Joe Girardi of the Cubs. Very nice card there, too, by the way. Dave Cohn. Love my Dave Cohn of the Mets. Davey Johnson of the Orioles. Oral Hershiser of the Dodgers. Will the Thrill Clark of the Giants. Luis Quinteros of the Reds. Damon Berryhill of the Cubs. Kevin McReynolds, the Mets. And Jose Lind of the Pirates. Wow, another pack of nothing. <laughs> oh, we are not doing good here, folks. This is not looking good. We will start with one of the most overproduced cards, 1990 Dunruss. Up, up, oh, after that is by far the most overproduced cards were the 88 Dunrusses. So lots of overproduced Dunrusses here coming your way. 
There's the puzzle piece. And there's Mark Davis, C. Bernazar of the Giants, Bobby Bonilla of the Pirates, Dave Lilliquest of the Braves, Lloyd McLennan of the Cubs, Randy Myers of the Mets, Mike Schuler of the Mariners, Mike Flanagan, Blue Jays, Gary Wayne, Twins, Diamond Kings of Chris Bazio, and Juan Ward of the Blue Jays, Juan Berenger of the Twins, John Smoltz, Braves MVP, Ron Darling of the Mets, Jerome Walton of the Cubs, very nice card there, and Ob McDowell of the Braves, and wow, another not exciting pack whatsoever. <laughs> oh, my good streak is coming to an end. I am feeling it. Up next is 88's most overproduced set in the world. Starting with off with Jim Lineman of the Cardinals, Jeff Pear Expos, Willie Upshaw, Blue Jays, Juan Guzman of the Rangers, Kirby Bucket, the MVP. Made so many of these, it don't matter. <laughs> Chris Brown of the Padres. Dennis Eckersley of the A's. Chet Lemon, Tigers. Doug Drebeck, Pirates. Lester Lancaster of the Cubs. Gaylord, or G Gaylord. Gerald Perry. I wish it was a Gaylord Perry. Gerald Perry of the Braves. Tim Foley of the Expos. Craig Maddox of the Cubs. That's a nice card right there. I will take that. Second year. Dwayne Murphy of the A's, Lee Gutzman of the Mariners, and Willie Frazier of the Angels. So far, I am falling asleep here. So let's hope the vintage pack saves this uh, grab bag because, wow, we are not doing good whatsoever. Sorry, I need a drink after this. Ooh, that's awful. All right, 81s. So let's see what gets damaged in the front with a gum. You know it's going to be damaged. Yeah, look at that back. Yeah, bent corner. Mmm. Oh, yes. Smell of stale gum. Nothing like stale gum in the morning. Tom Hossman, I feel sorry for you, my friend. Oh, Mets. Oh, poor. Mets rule is not going to like that whatsoever. He, the Mets cards, my Mets cards get so damaged by gum. Seems like a lot lately. There's the damaged one. I can't even. Yeah, even even if I. Oh, listen to that. Oh yeah, snap, crackle, and pop. That's not even worth the paper with its all bent corner and all that. Oh, that gets thrown aside. Bill Vernon, manager, slightly bent there. Phil Gardner. Oh, there's some waxy build up there of the Pirates. Now we're starting to get a good number. Oh, there we go. Another Mike Schmidt. Very nice. So I got the Mike Schmidt in that mystery pack, I think last week or two weeks ago. We got him again. I might get him signed. I heard he's a hard signer. Let me know if he's a tough signer because I would love to get this card signed. Another Mike Schmidt. That's going to save, semi-save this. There is a checklist. And Bobby Brown, and not that Bobby Brown. It's the other Bobby Brown of the Yankees. John Tudor of the Red Sox. And Jerry Austin of the Brewers. Vita Blue of the Giants. Looks like he's pitching at Wrigley Field there with a nice ivy. Love it. Charlie Liebrandt of the Reds. And Carly Langsford of the Angels. And, man, he's... Keep forgetting, 81 Dunruss is that so thin, man. It like curl up in your hands. Elliot Maddox of the Mets. And Jim Sunberg of the Rangers. And yeah, it was just more wax buildup. Steve Nicosa of the Pirates. I'm going to get a lot of him. I should get him signed, too. Bill Fahey of the Padres. Another Mike Schmidt. We got the Mike Schmidt back. This one's the MVP. So this is the first one we pulled of this one. All centered, but it is of the Phillies. We'll put that over there. And Mike Davis of the A's. And that's another decent card. Dwight Evans of the Red Sox. So it looks like the 81s semi saved it, but... Man, I'm telling you what, that is not the best grab bag pack I have ever gotten. <laughs> that is for sure all junk except for this 81, and you get a destroyed card. I mean, man, you can't.
can't even. I mean, that's just going right to the trash. That's a lost cause card. I can't even peel it. But the two Mike Schmitz and the Dwight Evans saved this pack from total destruction. <laughs> if you want to call it that. All right. There's one more in here. No. Here we go. Bam. All right. It's empty. So. All right. <laughs> Looks like more garbage. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Let's cut this baby open. Oh, we got those super sized action packs. Oh, man. These things, they just never sold. I'm feeling garbage all over the place here. My streak is over. Let's call it. I'm calling it right now. The streak is over. Oh, let's get this out. At least there's a little bit more packs in this one. No. All right. There we go. Whoops. And we're going to get hockey in here. What the heck? I like hockey, but man. <laughs> All right. So there's 1991 Dunruss. They made a ton of these. Series 2. <laughs> we got the Bowman hockey. <laughs> hey, this is not a hockey break. This is a baseball break. But I'll take it. We'll open it. I like hockey just as much as anyone else. Oh, another fun 1990 Dunruss pack. Can't get enough of those. Yeah, it looks like it's all destroyed. The wax, like, melted on there. <laughs> another 88. Oh, 88 Dunruss. So many. So many. They're here in my nightmares. Oh, no. All right. I need another drink here. Give me a second here. Oh, good thing I'm drinking wine today because, man, I can't take this. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Up next. No, 92 score. All right. At least there's a Cubs on top. So special consumer offer. Man, I think it's a little past due that. Hey, there's our vintage pack. Uh, it looks like a 1983 Fleer. So I'm actually looking forward to that opening that one. So that's going to side. And we got super stickers. Wait a minute. Didn't they say they get you don't get stickers? Uh, no late 70s novelty packs. Well, I guess what? That's a late 80s novelty pack. <laughs> oh, 88 Fleer Stars and Stickers. And two, I think these are 85. Yep, 85 Dunruss action packs. So <laughs> there's that much value in them. Let's open those up first. Why not? Let's open them. Let's have some fun. Because I'm dying here. <laughs> I just died a little bit inside. <laughs> these might be some value. I'll have to look these up. They might have gained value in the day. Well, let's start it off there with Jody Davis of the Cubs from the 84 season. 1995. These are huge. I think I have some of these too, by the way. I'll have to dig them up. They were probably buried away somewhere because they weren't that much collectible. All right. So up next is Keith Hernandez of the Mets. You know, maybe get these autographed. That would be a good idea too. That would be a bigger thing there. Oh, there we go. Nice. Ozzie Smith of the Cardinals. That one's a good one right there. You can never go wrong with Ozzy. Well, very nice. Dwight Evans. He's following me. I might have to get his autograph, too. He's following me around now. So, Dwight Evans. And last one is Brewers, Jim Garner. So, very nice. There's the back. Well, number two there. So, let's open up the second one. Because why not? <laughs> yeah. Tell me what you think about this. <laughs> I spent almost 40 bucks on this. Yahoo! Go me. No. Oh. Getting a lot of junks, that's for sure. Another puzzle piece. All right, first off, start off with Manny Trio of the Giants. Mike Schmidt, hey, it's a Mike Schmidt theme here. There we go. Add, add, add him to it. Mike Schmidt of the Phillies. That's a nice card. Spike Owen of the Mariners. And bringing back some of these old names, man. Harold Baines of the White Sox, Hall of Famer. Very nice. And... Butch Wagner of the Yankees. So, all right. What do you want to do? Let's do the hockey first. Let's get the hockey over with. Why would you put hockey in here? It's it a baseball, not hockey. Oh, there's the gum. Oh, yeah, it's Wild Wednesday. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Not good gum. No, not really. That's horrible. Oh my God. Why am I torturing myself? You know why? Because Wild Wednesday. All right. Bowman. Oh, I chew the gum. Hey, Steve Chase on the Red Wings starts it off. Oh, I'm going to be juicy here. <laughs> Rob Ramage of the Maple Leafs. Amber of the Hartford Whalers. This is a nice car there. Where are Hartford Whalers? Bradshaw. Oh, man, it's gone. Like <laughs> or whatever this is. It's not gum anymore. <laughs> there ain't no Jew left. Rob Murray of the Capitals. Darren Poopa of the Sabres. Oh, nice. My buddy, Paul Coffee. Love my Paul Coffees. Can't get enough Paul Coffees. I have to go in the PC collection because, as you know, I don't have enough Paul Coffees. Yeah, I do. I have like five binders of Paul, Paul Coffees. You want to see my Paul Coffee collection? I have a ton of Paul Coffees. Up next, Mike Garner, 89.90 season, hat trick card, so this must be an insert. Yep, it's an insert. 8 of 22 of Mike Garner. Man, that taste is in my mouth still. Joel Mullen of the Calgary Flames. Dirk Graham, Blackhawks. Kelly Miller of the Washington Capitals. And Sean Corrin of the Winnipeg Jets. And Paul Calavini of the Blues. Trevor Linden of the Vancouver Canucks. And last one is John Casey of Minnesota North Star. So, all right. Eight, yeah, 1990 Bowman Hockey. Yeah, I may open a pack of two of those. They're not worth much. Except my Paul Coffee. I love my Paul Coffee right there. Keep him highlight. For all you hockey fans out there. All right, what do I do next? To score. I got to get another drink here. Uh, and I usually don't drink red wine, so, you know, it's probably I'm cursing myself because I'm drinking red wine instead of other stuff. Mm. All right. I think I need to be alcohol-induced to open these packs up. Wow. There's the score pack, 1992. All right, let's open it up and get a bunch of nothing. All right, let's see. Started off with Chris Donalds. Man, never even heard of him. Mets Rule. What is this guy? I don't know him. Ah, Scott Garlitz of the Giants. Bip Roberts of the Padres. I know him. Harold Baines of Oakland. Very nice. Nice card, like late in his season or late in his uh, career. Uh, Mark Kunson of the Brewers. Pedro Guerrero of the Cardinals. Eric Plunk of the Yankees. And Luis Aquino of the Royals. Jose Lynn of the Pirates. Don Slott of the Pirates. Bob Scallon of the Cubs. Bob Welch of the A's. Paul Molitor of the Brewers. Very nice. Kurt McCaskill. I'm getting a bunch of him. I might have to get his signature now. I'm going to go for some signatures. I'm going to sit down and write to these guys. See, uh, they could join my show here. Kurt McCastle, the Angels. Jose De Young, Tom Bolton of the Red Sox. Finishes it up with that. Nothing pack whatsoever. All right, let's do it. Let's break more boring, overproduced Dunruss from 1991. There's a puzzle piece. And there's Astros, Jim DeHass, Phil Bradley of the White Sox, Tom Benzinger of the Reds. God, <laughs> okay, I'm going after his signature. I got to get some Kurt McCaskill signatures going on here because he's like in every pack of this. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Kurt McCaskill of the Angels. I love it. I'm having fun because I got to have fun somehow with these packs. Damon Berryhill. I think I got him again. Oh, my gosh. He's a repeating all over the place. Mike Marshall of the Red Sox. Marvin Freeman of the Braves. Oh, please put me on my misery. Ron Kittle of the Oreos. Bobby Thigpen of the White Sox. Tommy Herr of the Mets. Mark Witten of the Blue Jays. 
Jim Gott of the Dodgers, Tracy Jones of the Mariners. Oops, I uh, missed one there. Can't forget Jamie Quirk of the A's. And last one, a rated rookie of Gerald Anderson, who I don't think ended up to be much. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but that name does not sound familiar to me whatsoever. Ugh. All right. Hey, let's get a 1990 Dunruss going and get a Kurt McCaskill of 1990 Dunruss. Because we got them everywhere else. Oh, man. These have been in a storage unit or something that was superheated and the wax just melted. These are just horrible, horrible cards. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's horrible. Come on. You're selling this stuff? Come on. All right. Frank Williams of the Tigers. Jeff Hamilton of the Dodgers. The Baboni Yankees. Greg Swindell of the Indians. Ricky Henderson of the A. So there's a decent card, even though they produced so much of that. Get a little value there. Tom Gordon, decent card of the Royals. Bobby Witt of the Rangers. Marcus Grissom. So if I want to recall, there may be an air card of him. I'll have to look that up. My memory... I gotta get my memory back on some of these '80s again, because but that one's good. that one's actually a decent card right there, Marcus Grissom. So we'll take that one. And Kevin Brown of the Rangers and Mark Langston. So that's a decent card too of the Expos. Bob Welsh <laughs> get a lot of Bob Welshes. We have to go after his autograph too. Bob Boone of the Royals, because that's all these suckers are worth if you get their autograph. Doug Jones of the Indians. Jose Gonzalez of the Dodgers, Walt Terrell of the Yankees, and Nick Eckersley of the Red Sox, because those don't have much value whatsoever. Here we go. Next overproduced series of a lifetime, 1988 Dunruss. There's so many of these. You can't get enough of these, can you? Because there's just so many. They made millions and billions and... Trillions of these. My gosh. Still start out with Denny Walling. Gary Ward of the Yankees. Mike Campbell of the Mariners. And, whoops, Jody Reed. Can't forget him. Rookie card. Rated rookie of Boston. Greg Breck of the Brewers. Will Clark. Very nice. Got a lot of wills. Let me see if he signs too. Of the Giants. Burt by and my buddy. Got a lot of his autographs, as you know. Of the Twins. Rocky Childis, I think I got another, I think that's my second one of him, of the Astros, Ron Kittle of the Yankees, Zane Smith, Braves, <laughs> man, you see a theme here, I am getting tons and tons of repeat players, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to go through these and get these autographs, I just bought a book and I'm going to do it, I got to go for it because this is kind of fun, because I want to cry right now. Damon Berryhill of the Cubs. Gotta get his autograph. Come on, Damon. Sign a card for me, will ya? I appreciate it. Mark Davison of the Twins. Don Carmen of the Phillies. Bruce Hurst, Red Sox. And uh, Will Clark, Diamond King. So, whole bunch of nothing again. And, whew, this is rough. This is worse than that other one. It's oh, actually kind of worse. To do these packs, <laughs> I'm not getting nothing. All right, 1988 stickers. I do have some of these. I do remember these. Oh, uh, there's a the sticker. We're gonna get the sticker. Back way is there, Fenway Park. There it is. Tigers and Yankees. Oh, the, the stickers. Can never get enough stickers. I made a ton of these too. All right, up next, Tony Gwynn. So very nice. At least that Fleer star sticker is decent. Tony Gwynn. Of the Padres, Rick Roden of the Yankees, Vince Coleman of the Cardinals, very nice Kirby Puckett of the Twins, and <laughs> the Mike Schmidt theme continues. So, last card in those star stickers is Mike Schmidt. Can never get enough Mike Schmidts. Come here, we'll put you over there because I've got so many Mike Schmidts, I can't even stand it. So, one of these Mike Smiths are going to go to you guys here in my next giveaway. So there we go. There's that one. I need another drink because I, uh, uh. 
I'll leave the whole bottle after this one. Holy cow. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm pumping myself up for the 83 Fleers. So at least you get one. Actually, that's 81. That's 81, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's 81. So we're going to open 81 Fleer with a gum. Oh, yeah. First year they did gum. Yeah, they got sued too. And there it is. Poor Steve Brown of the Blue Jays is going to get. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's stuck on there. Good. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's nothing. That's junk. All right. We're having fun, aren't we? Brewers, Larry Sorson, Ron Guidry of the Yankees. That one's a decent one. That's a good center, too. So that's not too bad. John Castino of the Twins. Jim Essen of the A's. Don Money of the Brewers. That was a nice one, too. Bob Watson of the Yankees. Hoskin Powell of the Twins. Oh, there we go. Now, there's a good hit. Another Alan Trammell. 1981 Fleer of Alan Trammell. We'll put him there. Rudy Law of the Dodgers. Ricky Klutz of the A's. Champ Summers of the Tigers. Oh, nice. Fred Lynn, Red Sox. That's a nice card. Jamie Quirk of the Royals. Richard Dotson of the White Sox. Matt Koff of the A's. And last one is Tigers of Rick Peters. <laughs> that is it of this one. I'm going to have to do the... I actually got to research all this and get you the summary and what little highlights we have. So I'll be right back and we will uh, give you the highlights of this pathetic grab bag for our wild Wednesday. So I'll be right back. All right, here are the highlights of this wild Wednesday mystery grab bag packs. And let me tell you, there's not much highlight to this. This was awful. This is probably one of the worst things I've ever opened. But hey, let's go through it. Uh, pack one's right here. Uh, actually, there were uh, seven packs in that. We'll go the highlights or lack of highlights. But I got to show something, you know? Uh, if I don't, I'll just cry. So the first one was a 1992 score. The uh, highlight of the car, whole whopping five cents is Bernie Williams of the New York Yankees. Running off at uh, 91 score, there was actually a tie, both coming in at five cents. Actually, these two surprised me uh, being five cents, but it is Paul O'Neill and Dwight Evans. So I, I'm actually surprised. So we'll take that. Um, five, you know, 10 cents for both of them. What are you going to do? Not much. By the way, the 1992 score, that whole pack valued 21 cents. So, um, yeah, you know where this is going to go big time. So, uh, yeah, I can't even uh, talk. <laughs> uh, just trying to do something here quick. One second. Give me one second here. I mean, you're not going to be missing much. Trust me. So, after that is that 1993 Leaf. It was Roberto Alomar. Uh, that was the value, 20 cents. These are all back at Lowe's, as you know. Actually, this is kind of a sweet photo. And until I saw it, I didn't realize that. But that's his broken bat, so hitting the ball. So that's actually quite the great photograph there. That's pretty sweet, actually. I actually like that photo. So 20 cents, high value of the gloss, loss uh, leaf that we had there. So up next was the 91 leaf, and the highlight of there was Gary Scott's rookie card. That was an insert. As you know, it was a gold insert, BC number four. Gary Scott got the honors. Um for the Cubs, so very nice. I like that card very much, so happy with it. But unfortunately, you know, it's it just not much there. So um, up next is 1990 Dunruss, and as you would expect, not much value in this one either. Um, I think uh, that one overall, the whole pack was worth a quarter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A whole stinking quarter. Um, 
I got that more in my pocket than these cards are worth. So there it is, John Smoltz. Um, kind of a, a there's actually four variations of this card. As I'm, you should be not be surprised by that. There's four variations of that card. Um, the air card, this is the correct version, which is actually John Smoltz. <laughs> the air version has Tom uh, Glavin in it. So <laughs> they actually have the wrong photo with the wrong name. So um, actually the Smoltz actually gets a little more value. Also, if it's a big deal to you guys, there's different versions of this. Now, if you can see there, I get as close as I can. The 1989 Leaf Incorporated, there's a version with Incorporated and a version with a Incorporated with a dot at the end. Hard to believe that that makes all the difference in the world, but hey, if you're trying to collect this set, hey, if you got an extra 10 bucks in your pocket, you want to buy a couple boxes of 1990 Dunross, you want the master set, you want the leaf and the leaf incorporated with a dot at the end. So there it is. John Smoltz going at a whopping eight cents. <laughs> I want of the 1990s. Up next is 1988 Dunruss. And that top card was actually one of the higher rookies you can get. And that is Greg Maddox of the Chicago Cubs. Oh, Cubs, why did you let him go? You know, you could have had some many good years, but you traded your or let go of your good players, and he was definitely one of them. And as you know, he went to the Braves and dominated with the Braves, but there he is on 88, Donruss, Greg Maddox with the Cubs. And that last pack was actually 1981 Dunruss. So I would call her a vintage pack for sure. A highlight, as you know, we got two, one, not only one, but you got two for Mike Schmidt cards, so they're both a buck a piece, so very nice, even though they're off centered. You're not going to get PSA 10s out of these, but hey, again, you can never go wrong with a Mike Schmidt. Um, actually, that pack was actually worth the most of three dollars and 52 cents. So, <laughs> Beckett Low for all this pack, all these packs of badness <laughs> if you want to call it that that equaled six whole dollars and 82 cents and again besides the mike schmitz there's really not much there at all so uh, you know where we're going with this pack number two you, you know he thought pack one was bad pack two was actually worse it had more packs in it with a lot less value. So let's bring the highlights of the low lowlifes of this uh, pack. So we'll start out with, uh, with the, the jumbo cards of 1985 Dunruss. The top card, of course, is Ozzy Smith right there. 40 cents, Beckett Low. I mean, these are nice cards, but, you know, they're big. They're bulky. Um, you know, one of these quirky sets. Quirky's cool, so... You know, I don't mind these. You don't see them very often, or maybe you do, and I don't realize it. But, you know, the 85s, they're worth more with the regular cards. Not the high, the the big, big jumbo cards, but, hey, jumbo was in in the mid-80s. Trust me, the Tops did them. Dunross did them. Fleer went the all, all opposite way. went with the minis, but, you know, they try to make different sizes and all that. Try to get the most bang for your buck in the mid '80s. That's for sure. Um, again, all that whole packs. I think there were two of them. They equal eighty-four cents. So, next up is the quirky, out of the blue, nineteen ninety Dunruss hockey. So, I mean, I collect hockey, so that's kind of cool. But when you buy baseball cards and you get a pack of hockey cards, that makes absolutely zero sense. So highlight of that uh, set was the insert card of the Mike Gartner hat trick. That one high card, low Beckett low was a whopping uh, 50 cents. So uh, again, the 1990 Bowman hockeys have very little to no value. Um, you know, just that insert card. From the Minnesota North Stars, so I might get that signed. You know, one thing about this, what I'm going to do, guys, 
I'm actually going to get some of this stuff signed. I got to make lemonade out of lemons. And hey, you know, what would be more fun to see if these guys will sign some of these cards for us. And maybe I'll do a, give them a couple and give them away for you guys. That's what I, I think why I want to do that. Because, hey, you got to laugh at some of this garbage that we're getting. Because trust me, this is all garbage right here. Up next is that 1992 uh, score pack, and yeah, uh, let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> but we gotta, there are actually three highlights in the cards, only because they were three semi-commons. They're worth a whole lot and two cents a piece, so we got Paul Malter of the Brewers, Pedro Guerrero of the St. Louis Colonels, and Harold Baines of the Oakland A's, so at least... One Hall of Famer there. All those cards are worth two cents a piece, making for the highlights a whopping six cents. That whole pack was a whole whopping 19 cents. <laughs> and uh, believe it or not, that is not the worst pack in this. It's coming up soon. Trust me on that one. Um, and that is coming up right here. 1991 Dunruss. I mean, guess what? I picked the highlights of Kurt McCaskill and Damon Berryhill. And the only reason why, because I got multiples of them, there was that pack had absolutely nothing. Every card was a common. Every card was one cent. That whole pack was 15 cents. That pack wasn't even worth opening. I could have lit a fire to it and had more fun than what I did here. But you know what? We got a Kurt McCaskill and a Damon Berryhill. I'm going to get those try to sign. I heard this, this game is kind of hard. So Damon, if you're watching, I know you're not, but only 200 people are watching me, but Damon, please sign this card. <laughs> I would really like you to sign this card. Um, it would be sweet for my channel. It'd be sweet for fans alike to see that. And same with Kurt. Kurt, sign, get this card. I'm going to get these two signed. You know, uh, let's let's have fun with this. Let's take the losers and make them winners and get them autographed. I mean, Kurt McCaskill had a great pitching career. I mean, don't get me wrong. He was decent. You know, he's not Hall of Fame material or anything like that. But, hey, you know, let's give Kurt love. All the Kurt's of the world need some love. And Kurt McCaskill and Damon Berryhill need some love, and I, I hope he signs. He's, they say he's a hard signer, but let's give it a good try. Up um, next is 1990. Um, that card there highlights right there Marcus Grissom of the Expos. So that card there is uh, 15 cents. So triple my value. Instead of a nickel, it is 15 cents. So, and again, these are not high. Hey, look who's back! Yeah, the 1988 Dunras. It's my buddy. You're going to be my new best friend. Damon Berryhill of the Cubs. That card there. And, um, oh, did I miss it there? Yep, I did. Because I knew there was two. Jody Reed and Damon Berryhill were the highlights of the 88s. And they go for a whopping eight cents a piece. You know what? I'm going to get you guys signed because, come on, let's have some fun with this channel. It's Wild Wednesday. Let's get you signed, Damon. You are the highlight of this whole channel right now. You and Kurt are the highlight of this show. So there it is, 1988, Damon Berryhill. Up next for those uh, 88 Fleer stickers. There's the highlight right there. Actually, these packs for only five cars was actually worth 92 cents. So, But Tony Gwynn brings it in with uh, 50 cents. So rest in peace, Tony. Love you, dude. You were an awesome player. And that's a great card right there. And the last one of the pack was the 81, the vintage vintage pack. Uh, yeah, that, again, the 81 Fleers were rough. And this was the highlight, though. Alan Trammell, he's going to my personal collection. I love Alan Trammell. So that was worth Beckett Low of $0.20 cents, uh, for the Tigers. Um, maybe I'll see if I get him signed. I don't know if he's a tough sign or not. I didn't look him up. So, um, Alan Trammell, 1981 Fleer was the highlight. So that second pack, all this was a whopping $5 and six cents. So in the end, you know, I paid 
What was it? Thirty two dollars and thirty seven cents. All of this was a whopping eleven dollars and eighty eight cents. So I think you know where I'm gonna go with this. I rate this these mystery packs uh, from anywhere from two thumbs up to two thumbs down. And if you don't can't guess what it is, you're blind or can't hear or anything because this is two thumbs. <laughs> Yeah. Things I've ever opened. It is all junk. And the only saving grace, if you want to call it that, were the 81s, but you already got damaged gum cards. I mean, can't rip that open. I mean, that's, I mean, no one's going to want that. I mean, you can't eat it. I mean, oh, look, it came out a little bit. <laughs> the card's trash. Uh, <laughs> this is going right into the garbage. Steve Brown and Tom Hossman, I feel sorry for you guys. I'll try to get find any cards for you to get signed to because you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this bad gum and stuck to the cards. And look at that. It's coming out a little bit. You know, Jeremy eat that? I don't think so. I'm crazy. I ate the one pack from the 90 Bowmans, but I'm not going to eat that. So there it is. It's it sucks this one's bad but hey what do you think maybe i'm not seeing something here this is totally garbage bad so thank you for watching leave your comments troll me bash me i don't care this is bad but hey it's wild wednesday this is what we do and i love doing this and thank you for watching. Leave that comment. Subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. I want to give these cards away. The more you subscribe, the more of these cards I give away, even though these are trash. I'll give you some good ones in between. You know, I got a couple of Mike Schmitz. Give me a Mike Schmidt. Come on, we got to give some Mike Schmidt some love. So thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.